Well, I know it's been a few days, but this is the first time I've been home on time from work with daylight to do a video. Um, this is uh, Thursday, uh, November 1st, it's after the uh, hurricane or superstorm, uh, Sandy, whatever you want to call it, came through. Um, we didn't do too bad over here in my part of Connecticut. The shoreline is a complete disaster, but here I'm out of without power, as is most of my town. Um, and damage, yeah, there's some damage, but nothing really major at all. Um, I'm gonna start out here in the front. The cars, most of them fared okay. The only one that didn't is my Riviera here. As you could see, or can't see, I can't really turn this light on, but as you can kind of see, there's a giant hole in the rear window. That was uh, as a result of the storm. This is the only car I have not had a chance to register or insure yet. So, this is all on me. Big gust of wind came. And... a uh, branch off of this awful pine tree which is looking less and less like a pine tree every day I didn't even notice that before a lot of broken uh, branches on that thing but the wind picked it up and threw it right at the window this is it here and it was sitting right here none of the other cars suffered any real damage it's dirty so that was the first uh, surprise. Yeah, go around the back. See the mess I have to clean up back here. Tractor land did okay. There's no damage that I could really see. One limb is down on some tractors. But that's about it. Come around back here. Winter took place already. All the leaves are gone for the most part. The old Vanguard power generator up. Uh, and this is the other damage. Same gust of wind that took up the rear window of the car took down this tree. And this is the final one of the original. The original four that used to be in this rock garden. But, you know, I always knew there was a little bit of rot or something there from the holes down here, but I didn't think it was this far up. See, the whole center of this thing is nothing but rot and hollowed out. But, this one's a goner. Decent size one. Broke a few limbs off of these on its way down. Goes all the way out to there. Now, it's gonna be a weekend project cutting this thing up. Aside from that, it's really about it. Besides, you know, just crap everywhere. Take a look at the tractors. Now, everything out here, as you see, it is how it was after the storm. I haven't messed with anything yet. This I found kind of funny. The wind was so strong here, blew this hood open. <laughs> garbage can was all the way over here before. Everything else alright. Got branch out on Lionel's truck here.
glasses. No damage to the window, that's good. So over here, my part of Connecticut, we did okay. Still had some pretty heavy winds, but I think the storms last year really cleared a lot of the uh, loose crap out. And the uh, car parts, glass is all in one piece. And, oh, I didn't notice this before. What the hell is this thing? the hell that's off of where the rest of it is <laughs> the same as that branch I think it's a different wood yeah, I'm sure that'll show itself someday but this is really the only thing that came down here in tractor land oh that's a pretty big one Now the old roper fared. Damn. Ooh, that don't look good. Cover shot anyways. Alright, looks like it did do some damage. Oh, shit. I was wrong, there was a fatality. And of course, it's one of the freaking plastic and fiberglass tractors. I guess it's a good thing it wasn't bolted on. Ooh, broke the dash. That sucks. Smash the dash. Pretty heavy freaking limb. Let's get this off of here. Uh, I don't want to damage that plow thing. I'm going to leave. I'll just cut it up. So, of course, the tractor with all the plastic on it gets hit. Looks like it dug in pretty good right here. That sucks. Oh well. Like I said, I, just, I haven't had a chance to actually look at this stuff, so. That tractor's pretty messed up. Not really too bad out here otherwise. I can't even get through this way. See the uh, rest of the tree there. And the old falling apart canopy. Oh. It didn't do too bad. It may look terrible, but it's not really that much worse off than it was before. Yeah, it's just this wall here, more of these damn straps ripped. All this covering needs to be replaced on it anyways. So. Bust the zipper on this side. damage on it. It's fine. Every zipper on the door is broken anyways. So that's really about it to my property. Just a lot of stuff to clean up, that's all. Hopefully the next few days will be on power. It costs about $20 or so a day to run that thing. So, that's that.
And I talked to, uh, I know a few of you have been asking, but I talked to Lionel down in New Jersey. They got hit hard there. His area, you know, he has just some uh, siding can come off his house. And uh, he's out of power. They'll probably be shutting off his water soon because of some problems they're having with the pumping station. And he might have shut down his cell service, so it's kind of a mess down there. He said the closest place has power or gas and is about 40 minutes away, so it's going to be a while before New Jersey gets back in shape. But he's doing all right. There you have it. The uh, yearly uh, hurricane. <laughs> yeah, well, all you guys uh, were affected by this. Hope you're doing okay. And uh, well, take care, guys.